boxing match. Here at Rocktown Showdown 31, Anderson in the Muay Thai trunks, black trunks for Tag Cravens. It's out of Detroit. They're with the Roberts brothers tonight. Here we go. Low leg kick to start off. Right on the shin guard. And a stiff jab. Definitely working the kicks here. Yeah, Cravens. Tried to kick that foot out, but couldn't. Still back up his opponent. Looks to be the bigger of the two. See him watching the hips. Trying to dictate his movement. Digging to the body was Cravens there. That one looked like it got the, uh, through. He's going to that body, no doubt. He wants to get him thinking. Nice combination by Anderson, his best of the round. Starting to land some of those hard kicks. Time winds down here in round one. Good first round, feeling out process, so. Yeah, fairly even. Oh yeah. No major damage done by either opponent. Although I thought Cravens landed more power shots. Agreed? I do. Definitely think Anderson's trying to be more technical. He's picking his shots. Definitely has to reach over uh, Craig. So we moved to round two between Anderson and Cravens. Aaron Rockford, XFO, Rocktown Showdown 31. Always great to be here in Rockford. Matt Lucas along tonight with Jason Bellew, the Centurion. Mike Finch will be back next week. Thank Jay for sitting in tonight. Hope you had a good time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Some big shoes to fill, man. Mikey Finch. I always enjoy listening to you two commentate. Thank you, brother. Round two of these kickboxing rounds, just two minutes. Both fighters coming out with a little more oomph. Oh, yeah. Going to the body, Cravens is. Anderson hooking away. Coming low. Oh. Uh -oh. like Anderson he's backing him up but then kind of lets him off the hook he's not marching forward to mm -hmm. keep him up against the cage or throw more strikes he lets him come right back out to the middle I think what do you think about that I think he's very aware of his power and uh, doesn't want to be in the way of that right hand he's throwing it he's yeah, bringing he it out yeah, there he so he's throwing some really hard kicks too as Craven so I think you're right about that Nice dump there by Cravens. 25 seconds left here in round number two. 
scheduled for three. Nice jab there. Craven's corner calling out for more of that. Now Anderson oh. put it on him at the end of round two. Comes back with that right hand. Good job by Cravens to fight back. So we'll move to round three between Anderson and Cravens. Look at some of the round two action there. Woo that one had a little speed on it, didn't it? I think that Anderson's aware of that, and so he's trying to keep his distance. He knows he's looking for it. Very nice. Started teeing off on him there. That there's that right hand again. So that's Jared Roberts giving some instruction to Tad Cravens. Roberts was in a big dog fight tonight earlier on. Ended up taking the loss to Vince Wadman from Team Curran. Very outstanding fight. Check that one out on YouTube. If you get the chance. So round three, Rob Madrigal gets us started. And it's the black for Cravens, black and red for Brett Anderson from Team Green. Cravens being a little yeah. more active. I, I, I think he needs to pick up the pace here. He realizes that. Uh, you can't go for a single leg in this sport. <laughs> no. It's a great idea, but oh, yeah. just not in this kickboxing match. <laughs> to be Did honest, you? we see that all the time. It's hilarious. Well, when some guys fight both MMA and kickboxing. Yeah, sure. Oh, I get it. It's hard to switch instinct, gears. Especially you know? if you oh, take yeah. one off the chin, your, <laughs> your instinct is probably grab a leg. Nice, big right hand there. Landed flush. Look, Cravens is trying to go for a takedown there. This is kickboxing. So he's not only fighting, he's, he's, he's working on his takedown game too. Oh yeah. At the same time, that's multitasking. <laughs> it's hard to switch gears. Looks like he's trying to line up for one power shot, maybe on a counter. Yeah, he's been he's been searching for his chin with that right hand here this whole fight. So just 15 seconds left in this fight. Looks like we're going to go to the judges' scorecards. between Anderson and Cravens. We'll head to the scorecards. Don't forget to follow the XFO on social media at XFO MMA. We are always on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Let's look, take a look at some of the third round action. Staying active. Once again, Cravens looking for that right hand. I think Anderson was very technical in this fight. Yeah, I agree. He threw more of the combos it seemed, whereas Cravens was looking for more of the power shots. Probably landed more of the power shots, but it will be interesting to see the, uh, here what the uh, scores are, and we will do that right now with Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we go to the scorecards. All three judges see it the same for your winner by unanimous decision, Brad Anderson.